welcome back to another video. Today we're doing another cooking one. We haven't done one of these in a long time. Oh, and they yeah. certainly got a lot of views. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so last time I think we did a pizza. We used the Nerd Chef Pizza Steel. Yes, we are a review. Well, this oh, time we're going to try to try to do something that's a little bit more healthy, I guess. Yeah. So we came up with this recipe. Uh, we're I think we're semi-famous for our quesadillas. Yeah, everybody likes them. So, so we're going to go with quesadilla, and we're going to call it... A pizzadilla. A pizzadilla. Wait, what is a pizzadilla, you ask? Well, just think of pizza and think of a quesadilla. Pizzadilla. Smack together. Smack so, all right, we're going to go through some real quick stuff here. First, sauce. Sauce is a pain in the ass because it never comes in a small enough package. So what we did, and it kind of looks, honestly, Maybe it kind of looks one. like... Uh, Orangish, but it really tastes good. It tastes like actual pizza sauce. We used freeze dried tomatoes. That way, we can grab whatever portion we want for whatever we want to do, reconstitute it, add our stuff to it, blend it up a little bit, and there's that. So, the other piece that we're doing here is we're going to add pepperoni. And I think a real good trick is going to be to crisp up the pepperoni in the microwave crisp. um it's so really kind of tastes that hard. tastes like that burnt pepperoni flavor that you would get out of uh out of an oven or on a regular pizza okay also the other cool thing is when you put it in the microwave you use a paper towel all the fat or most of the fat ends up on the paper towel and not in your belly wow you gotta count for something so all in, I think, with a, about a half a cup of uh, mozzarella cheese, the tortilla, the pepperoni, the sauce, we're probably looking at right around $500, or 500, 500 bucks, yeah, it's expensive. Yeah. 500 calories. 500 calories. Per pizza dia. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go. Ready? Butter it up, Butter. baby. Tortilla. Sauces. Sauces. Okay. Okay. Cheese it up, son. One fourth a cup of cheese. And now a half a cup of cheese. Put the pepperoni on half because we're gonna fold it in half. So we'll roll with about ten slices here. Cool, eh? All right. I got this baby cooking at about three hundred, and we're gonna cook it until it's nice and brown. Yep. So what have you been doing today, buddy? Not much. Why are you eating all that cheese? I'm hungry. Mm. We had about 13 inches of snow. First big snowstorm of the year today. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Been out plowing and breaking plows. And... Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that's been super fun. I'm glad I'm glad we messed around with our side by side before you put the plow on. Oh, yeah. You just did yesterday. You guys check that yeah, video did you out? see that video? Oh, that was fun. That was a fun one. Yeah. Yep. Go yep. check that out. Go we'll check it out. Let's see what we got here. Oh, not quite. We're getting there. We're getting there. So when you do the flip, you want to get the cheese on top of the pepperoni. That way the cheese can melt into the pepperoni as well. It's kind of like a calzone to me. Calzone. Quesa, quesazona. Quesazona. No, quesazona. I, like, I, I like pizza to you. Pizza dia? I like that one. Pizza dia. Comment down below which one you like better. Pizza dia or... Quesazoni. Quesazoni or pizza dia? Comment down below. Or calzona dia. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just mixing calzona all of them. No, no, not that one. Right. Don't, don't say that one. Let me get me started on this rambolis. Get that little flip in right. there. Look at that. Ooh. Little right. 
What, what do you call that, Dad? Call that a flip, bro. Flipper dipper? A flipper dipper? Flipper dipper? Or a flippity doo da. Flippity doo da. D. Yeah, so that's. You want to flip that because look at that. It's not as crispy. I know. I want it to be crispy on the outside. Not as much crispy. I want it to be crispy. Just like the pepperoni. Ah. Oh, did that slap you? Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Oh, it's getting crispy. It's nice. That one's looking pretty good over there. Yeah. Why don't you? Yeah. Why don't you give that a cut so we can do a little sample here? Okay. Don't cut your finger off. Right? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, if you're gonna do it, do it on camera. No, 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 no. We're not posting it then. My strategy is to get it on the edges and then slice it down the middle. Ooh, looks like four little slices. Yep. This is one we made before camera, that way it can cool down. And look at the inside right there. Look, that's a good view. It's actually a really good view right there. It literally looks like a pizza inside. Hmm. Yeah, we got this one cooled down. All right. You want to take a taste test? Let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, it's good bees. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That definitely hits my pizza craving, 100%. Mm -hmm. The best part about this, it's completely scalable. Like if you wanted to just make one pizza dia, you make one. There's your cheese, 10 pieces of pepperoni, a little bit of your own uh, tomatoes, freeze-dried. Really, I really like that sauce. I haven't tried it yet. I know you have, but... That's pretty killer, man. That sauce with the pepperoni. And the cheese is on a whole nother level, but let's just talk about that sauce and pepperoni together. That's awesome. Anyway, there you go. Pizza dia, case of zoni. I don't know. Figure it out. I'll put the recipe below. Try it out. Give us a comment. See what you like. Yeah. See what you got to say. Also, like know. the video and subscribe. We're trying to get to 50 subscribers. We're so close. Share it. And share. Okay. Peace. Peace out.